Alright guys, today we have another pickup. This is the Perthman 2015 120th Year of the Goat. It is extremely, extremely hard to focus on since it's such a tiny little coin. You can't see the lines in the horns or anything, but there's definitely lines in the horns. Um, these kinds of coins, the details on these coins since they're so tiny, uh, you kind of need to look at them through like a jeweler's loop. All the details are there, but it's it's really hard to see with the naked eye. Give you an idea for thickness. It's just a little bit thinner than a uh, dime. Gorgeous coins, though. They have like the proof like uh, queen face on it. And then same with the goat on the back. He's almost a proof like finish, and then the back is frosty. It's a really nice compliment. The Perth Mint, I don't think can go wrong. Uh, their coins are really, really nice. I have an airtight that I ordered for this as well, so I'm going to be uh, getting more of these too because I got five airtights, so got to get at least five of these bad boys. But Also, too, I don't know if any of you guys are having any issues with USPS, uh, the United States Postal Service. They have recently been about a week late on every single one of my purchases. Uh, we just had a blizzard, so I'm not, I'm not sure if that's it, but it's been like a week since the blizzard, so I doubt that's it. Um, maybe they're just trying to uh, catch up or something, but I've been having a lot of issues with the USPS service trying to um, get my packages and everything. I got one package that's about a week late. Uh, I just ordered another 10th ounce uh, Howling Wolf from the uh, Royal Canadian Mint. That's a 5 nines pure gold, so that'll be coming. And then I'm also looking at some 20 franc roosters. So those videos are to come. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the views. And please comment and subscribe.